What's up guys? Sean here. And I'm here with a fire breathing monster of a road glide. This is a 2007 road glide. And it's got the Screaming Eagle 113 cubic inch engine in it. Uh, this bike is awesome. Super cool, white wall tires. This awesome looking orange, Harley Davidson orange. Uh, air horn, check this out. Air horn, um, this bike is a beast. Let's, uh, let's take it for a spin. Now, this is the first time I've ever driven a road glide. This is also the first time I ever rode a, uh, a bike with the 113 uh, Screaming Eagle engine in it. Up until now, the fastest Harley bike I've or the biggest Harley bike I've ever ridden was the, uh, the 110 CVO Screaming Eagle. And this thing's got some power. Uh, the reason people like the road glide is because the fairing is not connected to the rest of the to the to the steering and when the fairing is not connected to the steering it's easier to steer because you're not moving an extra 50 pounds and there's no weight trying to fight there's no wind trying to fight against you These bikes are supposed to be really, really light in the, in the corners. I'm excited to ride one. I've never actually ridden one, and I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying this. Real comfortable bike. I love the color, but you gotta love that 113 Screaming Eagle engine. That was a special engine. They didn't put that in any bike. It's, it's the equivalent of like a, the 120 engine that they put in that you can buy right now. I'm pretty sure when this bike, was, when that engine was put in there, and I'm actually gonna check to find out when they put it in there to find out how many miles are on, are on that engine. But you're probably looking at about 10,000 bucks just to put that motor in this bike. I mean, this thing's a screamer. This thing moves. Very powerful Harley. Here's my nice little 20 mile an hour turn. I can only get a good feel of how a bike really handles. Yeah, that's nice. And I'm not even going on at full throttle. I'm just rolling onto it. This thing pulls. This thing pulls really hard. got your radio up there it's got the cruise control this thing's loaded up and check and I love this air horn uh, train horn trains are coming people notice you when you drive a bike like this the colors loud the exhaust is loud the horns loud the radio's loud. Everything about this bike is loud. You gotta love it. Big old back seat for your passengers on the back. Guys, this bike is real cool. I've never been much of a fan of the uh, of the road glide, but 
I, I think the front end looks a little goofy. But uh, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying riding this bike. And I especially love that 113 cubic inch monster that they call an engine. And it definitely, you could definitely tell, I mean, it is a whole lot lighter in the corners. You're not moving around a big old fairing every time you, you turn the handlebars. We'll get on a little up here, see how fast this thing accelerates through first and second. engine feels like. That's fast. This thing's a screamer. Here's the gauges. There's your voltage gauge. There's your oil pressure gauge. There's your fuel gauge. There's your oil temperature gauge. So either the gauge is not working, which is possible, or it's just it's it's too cold and too cold of a day that it's just not getting up the temperature. I'm gonna have to look into that. But um, you should only be really you should, that's, you should be concerned about that when that number gets really high. That's when you have a problem. A lot of times, you Harley guys know better know more about these bikes than I do. Hey, I'm not going to claim to say that I'm an expert on everything. But I do need to have a good... Man, this thing pulls. This bike uh, says 39,018 miles on the clock. The dealership I bought it from, they're checking with the owner to see when this motor was put in there. It's very unlikely that the engine has that many miles. Because you have to buy the bike with a regular, you know, 103 engine or whatever this would have came in from, from the stock. And then you put that 113 engine in it. But this bike feels tight, feels great. I love the color. I love these orange bikes. It's funny. You, you, people either love them or they hate them. I really like them. But if you're looking for the one of the fastest road glides around, hey, look no further. This thing's a monster. Look at that. T bucket. guys this bike is gonna be on eBay it's also gonna be for sale locally 
Uh, I'm, I'm gonna imagine this bike's gonna sell quick. I'm gonna sell cheap. It was also signed by Billy Davison, which is Willie G's son. It doesn't really add any value, but it's kind of cool. All things being equal, if you find a bike exactly like this for the same price, same miles, same engine, same condition, and mine signed by by Billy G or by Billy uh, Billy Davison, and theirs is not. Hey, you're gonna go with mine. But um, you know, I'm not. I didn't up the price because of it. Yeah, I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell this bike cheap. It's gonna be a killer value. Whoever buys it is going to love it for the looks and for the power because it's a monster. Alright guys, 